Hello everyone, my name is Will. For this year's spring break, I went to China to visit two cities with Anson and Gianna, as well as a couple other classmates. The first city was China's capital, Beijing. Beijing is China's political and cultural center and had many famous historic and scenic sites, such as the Great Wall, Forbidden City, Tiananmen Square, Bell Tower, and the Bird's Nest. Beijing also had many great restaurants. The second city was Xi'an, which also had many historic and scenic sites and was very fun to be in. The trip lasted 12 days and there's 23 students that went on the trip and 3 teachers. On the first day, we left the US for Beijing, China. We went from San Francisco International Airport using Air China Flight 986 at 2.50pm. We had to get to the airport pretty early at around 11.30am. Once we got there, all the parents forced us to take the first of many boring group pictures. On the plane, Anton sat next to Alex and JV, Gianna sat next to Phoebe and Katie, and I sat next to Caleb. The plane flight was 12 hours long, so we played apples to apples, checkers, and watched some movies. The flight was very long and boring. On the second day, we arrived in Beijing at 5.55pm. The airport is called Beijing Capital International Airport. After we arrived, we had to take a train from the boarding gate to the baggage claim. We were all very tired, so it took us a long time to get out of the airport. At the airport, we met Charlie, our tour guide. Most of us really liked Charlie and thought he was a very good tour guide. After we met Charlie, we went to the restaurant and had dinner. The dinner was delicious, but we were very tired, so as soon as we finished dinner, we went to the hotel. The rooms were very traditional and small, but they were comfortable, and the price of the hotel per night was around $77 a night. Gianna roomed with Phoebe and Katie, Anthony roomed with Timmy, and I roomed with Katie. For day 3, we would wake up and have breakfast at the hotel. After having breakfast, we took a bus with Charlie to Tiananmen Square in the Forbidden City. We walked around there for a couple of hours and then we had lunch. Anson liked Tiananmen Square in the Forbidden City because it was a famous historical site and it was also very big. After that, we went to the Wang Fujiang shopping district, where we saw street food for the first time and Gianna brought a $100 Prada wallet. We were at the Wang Fujiang shopping district for an hour. I liked the shopping district because of the street food, which had scorpions and swordfish. We then had dinner and then went to the hotel. Caleb and I watched Chinese soccer and then Derek, Phoebe, and Gianna hung out in Caleb and my room and we chatted for 3 hours and then they went back to their hotel room to sleep. On the fourth day, we woke up and had breakfast at the hotel. We then took a rickshaw in Hutong, which is a small area in Beijing. On the rickshaw, there was two people per rickshaw, so it was small, but it was also very comfortable. We went to a Chinese family's house, and there we learned how to write calligraphy and other types of art. We then went to the bell tower and tea ceremony, using the rickshaw. It was my first time trying tea, and I thought it was really good. The view from the tower is really pretty. Afterwards, we had lunch, and then we went to the Great Wall. We took cable cars up to the wall and spent two hours at the wall and thought it was a great place to take pictures and learn about such a famous and historical site. We then took a bus and had dinner at the Peking Duck Banquet, and then we saw the Kung Fu Show. The Kung Fu was very loud but also very good. Both the Peking Duck Banquet and the Kung Fu Show were very good, and we would recommend going to both of them if you visit China. Afterwards, we went back to the hotel. and checked out of the hotel. We took a bus to the summer files and spent one and a half hours there. We all became sad when we learned that Charlie wasn't going to come with us to Xi'an. We then took a bus to go have lunch. Afterwards, we visited the Beijing 2008 uh, Olympic Complex Center for 30 minutes, which is my favorite part of Beijing. Okay, okay. We then went and visited the Hip Studio 790 area. Anson and I got ice cream, which tasted weird. Afterwards, we had dinner and then we went to the train station for the overnight train from Beijing to Xi'an. All the girls went to Starbucks at the train station. The train station was very busy and dirty, and the train rooms were also small, but they were not too dirty. On day 6, we woke up on the train and had breakfast on the train. We bought our breakfast at the train station the night before so it didn't taste good. We then left the train and went to the homestay school. At the homestay school, we took
up a campus tour for about an hour, had a meeting with the administrators, and afterward to visit an art class and a Chinese grammar class. After we visited a couple classes, we went to go have lunch and visit an English class, and then we played a basketball game against the school team. We were winning in the first half, but then we got lazy and decided not to try, and so we lost. After the game, we went to graduation ceremony and then went home to the homestay and ate dinner there. Most of the homestay families lived in apartments that were small, but they were still comfortable. We woke up and had breakfast at the homestay the next day. Then we explored Xi'an with our homestays and went to lunch with them. Anson spent the day with Derek in his homestay and they went shopping. I went ice skating and watched a movie with Caleb. Gianna's homestay took her sightseeing and they flew kites in a park. The scenery around Xi'an was beautiful and the lunch they ate was Gianna's favorite meal of the trip. Then we went home and had dinner and then went to sleep. I went to a Chinese market. Staying with the homestay was really fun and we all got to practice our Chinese. It was interesting to see the cultural differences between the US and China. We woke up early and had breakfast at the homestay the next morning. Then we met our classmates and their homestays back at the school where we said goodbye to our homestay buddies. After that, we biked around the sea on Sunni Wall. Biking was really fun, but it was tiring. Then we had hot pot for lunch, which was delicious but spicy. After lunch, we went to the drum and bell tower. The view from the bell tower was really pretty. In the evening, we went to the Muslim Square Street and went shopping at the night market. The night market was busy and full of people selling things. Even though we didn't buy anything, it was fun to look around. Lastly, we had dinner checked in at the Xi'an Arum International Hotel, which was $56 a night. This hotel was very different than our last hotel, as it was bigger and much more modern. On day 9, we woke up and had breakfast at the hotel. I liked this breakfast better than the one at the Beijing Hotel. In the morning, we visited the Terracotta Warriors, which are amazing and really interesting to learn about. After lunch, we did a service project at the Terracotta Museum. We interviewed tourists about what they thought of the museum. We had a dumpling banquet for dinner, which was really delicious, and watched a Tang perform show. My favorite part of the show was the music, and my favorite dumpling was the goldfish dumpling. On day 10, we had breakfast at the hotel again. Then we went to a migrant workers' children's school to do a full day service project. This included going to music class, PE, and calligraphy. We also taught the students English as well as played games with them. We had lunch at the school, and after calligraphy class, we went to left the school and had dinner. Playing with the kids was really fun. They were all really smart and spoke good English. In the evening, we saw the big goose pagoda. Katie and Yana went to a cafe and had a latte, which was really good. Then we went back to the hotel, where Katie and Yana went swimming in the pool. On our second to last day in China, we had breakfast again at the hotel. Then we drove for an hour to a nature reserve and rest animal rescue and research center. There we got a tour of the reserve and saw a lot of animals, including pandas and red pandas. The animals were really cool, but it was really cold outside, so walking around was not very fun. There were a lot of animals. My favorite animal were the red pandas because they were really cute. We also did a service project, which was to make food and toys for the bears. In the afternoon, we visited a primary school near the Panda Conservation and had lunch there. At the school, we taught the kids English, which was fun but challenging. Then we had dinner and went back to the hotel. At the hotel, Katie, Phoebe, and Gianna went and hung out and chatted in Caleb and my room. On the last day in the morning, we packed our suitcases and drove to the Xi'an Changyang International Airport. There was a really long line and the ticket counter and we were all really tired. We flew our China from Xi'an to the Beijing Capital International Airport at 11.10 a.m. When we landed in Beijing, we had a few hours into the flight, so we ate food and bought souvenirs. Then we flew from Beijing to the San Francisco International Airport with Air China again at 4 p.m. It was a really long flight, and most people weren't sitting next to each other. We finally arrived in San Francisco at 12.20 p.m. We had a lot of fun on the trip. It was an amazing experience, and we learned a lot too. We all want to go to, back to China soon.
purse, yeah. Alyssa! Holly! Holly! Jebby!